Hey everyone and welcome to the tutorial series for the NPC Manager system. This video is going to be the series introduction to all of the other tutorials in the series. Uh, first of all, if you bought the system, I want to personally thank you very much for all of your support. Uh, and I do want to remind you that if you have any questions whatsoever, you can see my support email right there at the bottom. We also have a very active Discord community and I'm going to have a link to the Discord invite under this video. So please join us, uh, tell us what you think and reach out if you have any questions. So jumping right in, we're going to be covering the following topics. This is going to be the general structure that I have planned for the series. We're obviously doing the introduction and a project overview right now. We'll be doing a quick start guide then on the next video, it's going to be a very short focus video just to get you guys going. And then we're going to be looking at some deep dives, things like the MPC controller settings overview, creating your profiles for your MPCs and setting up your points of interest, looking at standard tasks and location. That's an extension, taking a deep dive into the MPC dialogue system, understanding the design of it and how to add your own dialogue, looking at player interactions, then very importantly, we're going to be looking at optimization settings, how to make sure that you, you have performant NPCs in your game. Then we'll be looking at day night cycle. Then I'll be doing a quick migration guide so you can add your own uh, NPCs to your custom project. And then finally, we'll be taking a look at something a bit more advanced, which is how to add a custom task order for your profile. So you'll know what I mean uh, when we get there. And finally, how to add your own logic in your own task. Uh, by writing your custom logic. So that is pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a very quick look at the project overview. So if you go ahead and jump into Unreal and you just open the project for the first time, this is exactly what you should see. Your project will open on the level showcase and this is kind of the root um, folder of the project. Really quickly, here's what you're going to have. Uh, the animations folder here are all of the different animations that come already with the project. These are placeholder animations. I made them myself in Blender. I'm not a pro. Uh, so please keep in mind that by getting or making very good animations, you're going to see the quality uh, significantly increase. However, I wanted to include just placeholder animations so you guys can see how everything looks. So um, basically all of the animation assets are here. Then we go into the blueprints. That's kind of the biggest folder here. You have the characters and this is going to be all of the NPC logic and the player logic core. This is going to be all of the things like structures, enumerations, data tables, things that typically you don't have to touch. I, I like to put everything in just one folder and call it core. Unless you know what you're doing, I would just advise you not to touch this folder. Interactions. These are the, the blueprints that have to do with the NPC dialogue system navigation has all of the blueprints that you'll use as far as defining navigation for your npcs points of interest is exactly what it sounds like the blueprints for you to create your point of interest for your npc profiles is again the base class and several examples of what a profile is and how to create your own profiles for your npcs then you have props and right now i only have one prop which is basically a door that you can open by clicking the, the interact button or E, and this can also be used uh, by NPCs. Then you have showcase. And in this case, these are all of the different blueprints that were custom made for the showcase level. Uh, these are uh, not really core to the system. They were just specifically made for this. You can see, for example, that we have uh, this little button here which is change task and you'll see it here, change task. So feel free to use these, but they're not going to be documented and I'm not going to go over these at all. Uh, these are just to make this a more interactive experience. Then you have stations, extremely important. These are the individual stations that go into your POI. You have some utility blueprints um, and this is perhaps the most important. There is a troubleshooter blueprint. If you have any issues when you're using the kit, uh, the very first thing that I recommend is that you go ahead and drag this little blueprint to your scene and it will check for things like, do you have the correct tags? Do you have a nav mesh? Do you have an NPC manager blueprint in the level? Just the very baseline things that I expect you to have on your scene for the NPCs to actually work. 
Then you have this little follow camera uh, blueprint. I've shown it before. This is just a very easy way for you to quickly follow an NPC while it's going around doing its thing. And then I have two simple blueprints for the camera. This is kind of a bonus. I use that uh, to create um, a little flyby um, video. Um, it, think about this as a completely, completely simple um, cinematic tool. Uh, it's just easier for me to do it that way. And then from and then after that, we have uh, the widgets. Again, these are just all of the different widgets that I'm using. Most of these are going to be for debug purposes, and we're going to take a look at that in a different video. And finally, we have a very simple day-night cycle blueprint. This is what I use. This is very similar to what we have in the Animal Behavior Kit, if you have that asset. So it should be very simple once we get there to use it. Uh, we have the game mode, and there are a few things here that I'm going to point out when we get there as to why you need to have a specific player controller uh, and a pawn. We have a blueprint tutorial that we have here, and if you click on the little play button here, you'll see that you get a little guided tour. I would, I would recommend that you quickly take a look at this on your own time if you want, even though we're going to be basically covering all of that. Uh, and finally, the MPC Manager, BP MPC Manager. Uh, this is basically uh, the central controller that's going to keep track of all of the MPCs in the scene. It's going to give MPCs information about uh, location and performance. Uh, so you definitely need to have one copy of this blueprint in your level. And then if we go one step higher, Epic Content is basically what you expect. All of the content that comes from Epic Games, including the mannequin, some... Um, um, uh, special effects like smoke and fire that I use, etc. Then on the maps folder, all of the different sample maps. Level assets basically has all of the assets lined up. Level road scene, this is just a sample level. And if you open it, it's just a very simple scene where we have a bunch of NPCs walking around. And I showcase some of the crowd tools and how to use them. Level showcase is basically this. This is the main level that's going to showcase all of the different features level time of day this is another sample level where i have two npcs going through their entire 24-hour schedule from um, early in the morning going to work going uh, in the afternoon to hang out at a pub or a park and then going back home and hanging out and eventually sleeping all night and waking up again and finally level tutorial uh, this is something that i've created already uh, for you guys this is basically a very simple level. I'm just going to go ahead and open it here. That has a bunch of stuff already set up. So when we get to the actual tutorial, we don't have to waste a lot of time making things nice and neat like this uh, makeshift house design that we're going to be using as our POI or our path. I'm still going to point out where these blueprints are, but we're not going to be wasting any time laying this out as we already have everything here. And then... Everything else should be pretty self-explanatory. The meshes that I use, the materials, some of the sounds, and the textures. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at a quick start guide. We're going to start right here in this level, and we're going to create an NPC. And we're going to create a very simple point of interest and a profile and see how everything works. And after that, we're going to go into all of the deep dives. So thank you guys so much again for purchasing the NPC Manager system. Thank you for your support. Remember to reach out and comment, join our Discord, and I will see you guys in the next video.